y'all. Hey, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday to you. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? What's going on with you? Let me say my grace, y'all, and then I'll start talking to you. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for this day. I thank you, God, for my many blessings, Lord, for everyone that is gathered here today. Lord, I ask you to touch those right now, Lord, that are going through depression right now, Lord God. We ask you, God, just to lift their spirits right now, Lord, and bring them out, God. We know that depression is real, God, but we know that you're able and we know that you can. We know that you can turn their gloomy days into a sunshiny days, God, and let them know, that, Lord, they are needed here on this earth and they are truly blessed. Lord, we just thank you, Lord God. We ask you to bless those who are standing in a need, whatever that need may be. Those who have not, have not food nor shelter, Lord, we ask you to bless them right now, God. Those going through grief, we ask you to touch them, Lord, and give them the shoulder to lean and crown right now, Lord, in their time of need. Lord, I thank you for the food I'm about to receive, for the nourishment of my body. Again, for everyone that is gathered here today. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen, amen. So, y'all, today... I just got a shrimp, broccoli, sausage, peppers, and onions stir fry. I just made it real quick. I'll put up a short. I don't know if I, I may put up a short over here on YouTube, but I definitely put up a reel on, on Facebook of how I did it. It was real quick and simple. So, what y'all cook good today? I had some chicken wings out. I kind of had a taste of me some barbecue chicken wings. But, I just didn't feel like turning on the oven. God cooked those in the oven. So, I said, what can I make quick? So, I went outside. And I had some shrimp. And I, uh, Amber had made her some jambalaya. And it was half of it. You know, the, it's two sausage come. And then I do it sausage. So, I took the other one. And I said, well, I'm going to make a stir fry with that. Um... It was either broccoli or green beans. And I said, you know what? I'm going to go with the broccoli today. I had broccoli in a minute. So, I've been meal prepping today. Mmm, -hmm. broccoli good. I've been meal prepping today. I felt good when I woke up this morning. I was laying in the bed and my knees wasn't hurting real bad. And I immediately just thank God. I'm like, I'm not in that much pain today. I'm going to get up and see how much I can get accomplished. So I stood up. Of course, I had to have Emma go get my cane because I did start hurting after standing up so long, cutting up vegetables and doing it in the kitchen. You know, I made some tuna, cut up all the vegetables, washed the fruit for next week. And I, um, but I was still able to stand. I took maybe a minute or two to sit down. But I was able to stand and kind of get that done in the kitchen. And I have enough stir fry because I really have like tuna and I was going to have salads next week. But of course, this will be enough stir fry because Amber's not going to eat this. Um, she might eat some. She might surprise me. But I'll have enough, you know, for next week for meal prep too if I want. Hey, I'll just put dinner or lunch one day. I had to go watch her for my job yesterday because the tech guy had to do something to my computer. He said, re-image it. It was time. It, I had some outdated stuff on that. And so I took it up there. He told me he'd just hold it till vacation was over till I got back off of my vacation. And, um, he would get it done, but he would put it in my drawer. And he did. So I went up there yesterday morning early. It was 7 o'clock. Because I knew I was going to have to work from home on Monday. And I need my computer to do that. So I went up there and got that yesterday. And when I was coming uh, coming back home, I saw I kept seeing all these airplanes on the runway. Because I was, it's over by the airport where I work. And... Y'all, I stopped because there was no traffic, so I stopped and kind of the median of the road. And I actually filmed it. I saw a plane coming down from the scent. And I don't think I've ever seen that. A plane just kind of come down. I thought it was so neat to kind of come down. Like we did. I didn't see it laying in the course because, of course, it was going to land in another part of the airport that I couldn't see. But just to see it come down, you know, from the descent 
to land. I thought was really neat to see. So, did I ask y'all what y'all cook good today? Did you cook something quick? I was talking to my friend. Of course, I have a roast, and she said she had roast and greens and hot water cornbread, and she had done shook the, you know how you do the corn. She had made some fried corn. And um, sometimes I have to take my time because I don't know if I'm getting full. I'll be wanting to overeat because you eat too fast. And I still have that as an issue. Sometimes I eat extremely fast. Y'all, um, that turkey sandwich was so good. And I hadn't had sub in so long that I ordered me another one Friday. That was my last day of vacation, and I ate half of it for lunch, and I ate half of it for dinner. You know, it'd be one of them, like, half of a half of, not a long one, but it'd be a half of, and they cut that in half for me, so I ate half of that. And I sat up and propped my feet up and watched Bewitched. Ate that, and then I ate the other half of dinner. But that turkey, and I never get the turkey from Lenny's, but it was so good and fresh, you know, and I love me some Subway too. But I ended up getting Lenny's, of course, because I had a free sandwich. So, Keita, I did get the sandwich. I did get the sandwich. Uh, Miss Ree, Miss Ree, thank you. I got your um, cash app for my birthday. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. But, um... So I'm going to treat myself to something else. I'm on vacation. Actually, I got one more day I absolutely have to use, which is the the 15th. Uh, I have to use that before the end of August. So on the 15th, I'm going to be um, off. And um, so I might do something that day and use it that day. I need to get into the dentist because my sealant came out. I don't know if I told y'all that already of my back tooth, but it, it got an abscess on it. So I need them to do whatever they're going to do. And you know when that happens, I'm pretty sure he's going to say it needs a darn root canal. Ugh. But y'all, take care of your teeth. Try to hold on to your own teeth as long as you can. Take care of them. And when you can't have them, get you some dentures. <laughs> but you know, if you can hang on to yours, hang on to them. Of course, you know, they ain't never white enough. You want them to be white. I know I do. I be wanting mine to be white and stuff like that. But hang on to them. Y'all, I had a discussion with someone on Facebook today. And... That was one of the reasons why I was really praying for people that's going through depression right now. The person was saying how, you know, I put up a reel today. And they said they didn't have no reason to believe the sun is shining. And so I was saying how the things that, you know, I felt were minor, you know, that I don't know his life, you know, but I said, I didn't tell him they were minor, you know, but I'm like, you know, God... That's really blessed you. You have a beautiful family. You know, I think he's having marital issues, he said. I said, but you have a beautiful family. You have a job. You know, I can't get the overtime. Even though you have a truck, thankfully, your wife can take you to work. Is what my response was to him. And he went on to say, you know, it was stepchildren. I say, you know, that's hard. Step families are hard. You know, I've been in one, you know. But the children still need to be loved. And they realize it, you know, more than you know. They It affects them more than you know. I say children, even your own biological children are unappreciative sometimes. But they, they realize some things later on in life. And I think sometimes people think, I try to be open with y'all on here, that I'm absent of problems. It's not that I'm absent of problems at all. <laughs> i got plenty of problems. Like I said, the day I was thanking God, I wasn't in much pain. I was just like, Lord, I thank you. The pain is not there. You know, some days I wake up and I be like, Lord, I got to go into the office today and I be so broke down. And I try not to stay here and feel sorry for myself. You know, I be like, I know it's going to take me a minute to get from the parking lot. Every step I make toward that door is going to be painful, but I'm going to go anyway and I'm going to take my time and I'm going to get up there and I'm going to be okay. 
you know, and I'm going to make it. And some days I go and I be hurting all day the whole time I'm there because I have to sit in a chair, try to prop my feet this way and that way. And sometimes I go and I start feeling better than that. My knees start feeling better than that. Sometimes I start out great and sometimes it goes downhill. But, and I'm telling you, y'all, pain will work on your mental. It will work on your mental. You have to keep yourself in a positive space. And say, even in spite of God, I know that this day is going to pass. Tomorrow might be rough, but tomorrow's going to pass. You know, and I have to keep on, keep myself in a joyful and thankful mood. Thankful for the good things that's in my life. Thankful for the blessings. I have to keep, because if I choose to focus on the pain situation, how do you think my day going to go? I'm going to go into a depression. I'm going to be sad. I'm going to be down. But I choose not to focus on that. I choose to focus on, well, God, you woke me up this morning. You blessed me with a roof over my head. You blessed me, I can get back and forth to the restroom on my own. It may be painful, but I can get there. You blessed me that I don't have to go up and down the stairs in an apartment anymore. You blessed me that I can go in the kitchen and get me something to eat. I focus on the blessings in my life. And I tell you, when you go into a thankfulness and praise and you can focus on those thankfulness, sometimes you just forget. That doesn't make you have absent a problem. Y'all, if I told y'all, my student debt loan debt is six figures, y'all. Six figures. <laughs> six. I owe the RS five figures. And I paid them $22,000. <laughs> you do you do you do y'all get it? Because I was at a stage where I was claiming an absolute minimum. And it wasn't like they wasn't taken out of my check, but I needed every dime I can get plus my part-time job to pay for my daughter's tuition. I'm not going to lie, I'm in debt. If I choose to focus on that debt, but you know why I was able to get this house? Because I'm paying on my debt. I may still be in a lot of debt, but I'm paying on it. I pay what I can. I pay at least the minimum. Sometimes when I have extra, I pay extra. But that still doesn't stop me from being a generous person, try to give, try to help others. Because in it all, I know I'm still blessed. Do I regret going to school? No, I don't regret it. I, I love education. I think education is great. Yeah, I actually started, you know, I told you I'm going to take the boot camp for this coding. So I give me a part-time job. I just really got to get my mind around the studying part. But um, I try to do something constantly, you know, to keep myself motivated, to keep myself going, to keep saying, well, you know, I'm going to pay this down. I'm going to pay this. I'm going to pay and when I pay something down, sometimes something happens and I get right back. I'm like, I done paid that credit card off. Something will happen, y'all, and I'll need something. Because I was going to put off getting this fence. But I got to get it. So I could at least be in my backyard, go outside. Be not worried about a dog running across getting me. <laughs> you know, about somebody who not don't care about your property, letting the dog go to the bathroom in your yard and not get it up. You know, it's just some things that you don't have to deal with. You know, and I shouldn't have to be relegated to what I put in what I do in my yard because of somebody else's uh, uh, are not responsible pet owners. So, it's things like that. So now, I have to really get tight. Because money that I had to do some things that I like to do now has to go on pay for a fence that I wasn't quite ready to get, get to do it. <laughs> and you can have in your mind that things are going to go one way. But I've been working at, you know, where I work. I've been working at FedEx long enough to know how they do with the bonuses. But I was hoping that my bonus was going to be enough to cover my fence. But no, that wasn't it. That was not it. But I'm grateful for what we did get because I did pay some on some bills. I paid on some bills. And I was able to buy me some tickets to go to a show. So, you know, you have to look at the blessing and everything in life because I could choose to say, oh, it's another day I'm struggling, I'm financially in a hole, I'm this, I'm that, I'm that, I'm this. But I choose not to focus. I focus on the fact that I got a job to go to. It was a time when I, my daughter was in school, I had to take a vacation day because I couldn't put gas in my car. Now I'm able to put gas in my car to get back and forth to work. I don't, gas is high. Thankfully, we can work from home two days a week, so I don't have to go every day. Do I see the reason why we have to be up there at all? We can do our work at home? No, I don't, but I don't care. 
I, I don't mind going. I, it's my job. You know, because I could save a whole lot if I was at home every day. But you just thank God because it is what it is. And you don't worry about it. it must, my neighbor must be having some work on because this guy over here in her yard. He just passed by. I got to call Lowe's Monday because they left my, I took a video of it. They delivered the lumber for my fence. But that guy tracked up my driveway with all those tire marks. Right? And so they need to have that pressure wash to clean after these people get through putting this fence in. And I took a video. He probably wonder why I was out there video. But I posted it too. But anyway. My friend said, you just video anything. Show, do you? <laughs> but anyway, back to what I was saying, y'all. Just be thankful in your season. Thankful for. And like I say, your best and best of times didn't last. Your worst and worst of times didn't last. So whatever you're going through, this too shall pass. Keep the faith and trust God. Because you'll get through this. It'll be a new day tomorrow is a new day. The next day is a new day. Every day you're blessed with is a brand new mercy, brand new grace that God has granted us another day. And it's a blessing and don't take it for granted because some people wish they had another day with their loved ones. You know, just another day. People are not waking up young from all ages. So you never know when your last day is going to be. So why waste it on being down and out? And not being thankful and enjoying it how much, ever much you can. You know. And I know we go through things and it's times in life, everything is not cloudy, cloudy. But your heart should be filled with joy. And even those that leave you. You think your parents leave and they want to know that you're down and out? Your parents pray that they leave you well equipped to go on with your life and live a happy life in their memory. Your loved one. If you're, you lost your husband or spouse or wife or whatever. <laughs> They want you, you want them to go on and be happy and live a good life. You don't want to take them with you. And I know what it is to lose a child, to bear a child. I've been there. And I'll tell you, I was down, I was low. But God blessed me with another child to raise. That does not erase the fact that I had a child that I lost. But if I stayed down and adopted and depressed, what kind of mother would I be for her? I have to move on and live in honor of my son and do well in life. So I understand. Y'all don't take it for granted. Your children may be a headache, but it's a blessing to have a healthy child. You know, the people that got sick children in the hospital, or even the ones that are sick in the hospital, they glad to have their child even sick still here. Because some are having to make a decision, like I said, and lose their child. And go on with life. Because they have other kids. I'm just telling y'all, you have to make a choice in life. <clears throat> Even when you're going through to say, this too shall pass, God. I got faith right now. It's rough. I need you, Lord. I need to lean on you. It's rough. I got to shed some tears. It's rough. But God, I thank you. I thank you. Thank you through my storm. I thank you through the rain. Because I know the sun is going to come out again. So y'all just be thankful in it and choose joy. Choose to live a life of joy because we don't know what our life is going to be like. And I don't even mean to talk about this, but I just really, his uh, message really touched me today. And I really, you know, got to thinking. You know, it's not that I don't have problems too, because I do. And some days, like I say, when it's rough, I get on here and y'all be just as, hey, Miss Donna, in the comments, how you doing? Hope you have a blessed day. That's what I say. You don't know what kind of battle anybody is fighting. So be kind. Y'all, this was really a good little quick meal. It was delicious. 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 Mm, mm, mm. And Nutricia. Nutricia. Mm, mm. <laughs> I 
I know some of y'all don't like about you, but hey. <laughs> I saved it to the end. <laughs> anyway, y'all know I thank y'all. Y'all know I'm going to see y'all later on this week for something or something other. If not, I'd probably a little one minute little clip tomorrow. If you check me out there, it'll be something. I hope to leave you something with a message of hope, with joy, with inspiration, with motivation or something. But anyway, I'll see y'all next week. Like I said, you know you love, I love you, but God truly loves you the most. Remember to always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. Love you much. Bye.